Scientology leader David Miscavige had called his flock to Clearwater's Ruth Eckerd Hall on June 30, 2007, for a major announcement. Over the next three hours, he explained that a team of church specialists had located and restored all of Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard's recorded lectures from decades ago, including recordings that had never been available to church members. Listening to Hubbard's lectures, the team also determined Hubbard's texts were incomplete and out of order in places. Those volumes also were re-edited. Now, Miscavige said, the church had all of Hubbard's scriptures in complete form for the first time. The new collection of 18 books and 280 lectures on CDs was called The Basics. Miscavige called it the golden age of knowledge for Scientology. It also became a golden age of revenue for the church. The Basics would cost parishioners $3,000 a set. Church staffers sold them aggressively in an effort to disseminate Hubbard scriptures worldwide. Yes, that too, all of it, you can have it all. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you The Basics. As Miscavige came to a close, 25-year Scientologist Luis Garcia of Irvine, California, watched on closed-circuit TV with other church members gathered at the Fort Harrison Hotel in downtown Clearwater. As soon as we get out, it was like all these staff members are there with uh, clipboards, and basically they are just asking, castle charge, castle charge. The next thing, at the very restaurant, the waiters and the waitresses are asking us to buy basics. I said, we already got them. Ah, yes, but you can buy another one. It's okay. And that was the, the party line. It didn't matter how many you bought, you can yet buy one more. I mean, everybody, everybody was selling basics. The receptionist in the, in the technical area, the, the director of processing, the the auditor, everyone, the ethics officer. This was unprecedented. The Basics campaign took a toll on Scientology staff and overshadowed the church's purpose, according to former Chicago-based staffer Cynthia Fagan. It just was just a pressure cooker grind on a daily basis. And it turned the staff into telemarketers, dialing for dollars, um, just not a spiritual place to be. There was a time where I w went down stairs to where the staff were supposed to get comforted and helped and I went to the person in charge of that area and I said, this doesn't seem like a religion to me. I'm not feeling spiritual here. And I longed for, like I, I've written in other places, I've, I longed to just go sit on top of a mountain and, and meditate and smell incense and just say, get me away from this materialistic stuff because it just was all about money. Scientology spokeswoman Corinne Powell denied Fagan's description. She said the Basics campaign had been wildly successful, invigorating church staffers and parishioners alike. All church staff were involved at some level in helping disseminate the basics, Powell said. A week after the basics release in Clearwater, Luis Garcia returned to the Free Winds. He expected to find the distraction-free environment Scientology says the cruise ship provides. Garcia was studying to reach the church's highest spiritual state, Operating Thetan 8. There was a, a, a time where I was in a corridor I just crossed paths with the commanding officer, Sharon Weber, and she was accompanied by two other people. And she stopped me and says, oh, lucky I found you, Luis. And she said, listen, we need to, we need to put the basics in the hands of the natives here, the, the people of these islands. So we, uh, we have to donate them to them because, you know, they're not going to buy them. So, how many sets are you going to donate? 16 or 32? She was talking about basic uh, sets of books only, okay? 450 each. 16 or 32? And she's all very enthusiastic, very smiley. And I say, uh, I'm not going to do any. I did two yesterday. No, come on. Da, 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 da. Do 12. Do 10. 6. 4. On that particular occasion, I said, no, I'm not doing any more. 
Ask about Garcia's account and if Weber was assigned a basic sales quota, the church said the packages of scripture were of such monumental significance to the church that all staff participated to some extent in the dissemination of the basics. The whole purpose that the organization is there is to get public in to service sell to them and deliver personal service for them to have their own personal spiritual gain, right? Or to help them to help others. It turned completely, the pendulum swung toward pure donations and asking for the parishioners to fund these huge projects to the point where they're second mortgaging their homes, excuse me, um, taking out huge loans, doing absolutely everything they possibly can to contribute to these programs. This lady would call me and she says, I am calling from the office of the vice president. He needs to meet with you. He has a very important key confidential briefing to give you. You have been selected as one of the few who are ready to get this briefing, or qualified to get this briefing. He came with another person. I think his name was Suawi, Suawi, something like that. And the briefing was Germany, suppressive government, they're stopping Scientologists. They made it illegal to be a Scientologist. They're kicking um, kids out of school for being a, uh, the sons or daughters of Scientologists. You know, the briefing lasted like 15, 20 minutes. And then right after that, it's like, so what we need you to do is buy 16 sets of basics and lectures. I was flabbergasted. I was like, really? Again? The vice president of the Church of Scientology International is trying to sell me basics? I was so disgusted. I, I still can't feel the, the, this rare sensation in, as a knot in my stomach when this happened. It was so, again, so inappropriate. Such a ploy under the disguise of a confidential briefing, hand-picked individuals. The guy is acting like a salesman. I declined, I declined, they grinded. They would take turns, you know, the one guy, the other guy, the vice president, the other guy. And after about an hour and a half or so, they just gave up. And again, they always push these buttons of, well, you are in the middle of uh, OT8. I mean, you completed OT7 a couple of months ago. Anyway, I declined. I didn't give him anything. See, by this time, I, ha I was already like done, pretty much done with terms of donations, money, retching, basics. It's like I have had enough. The church said they never met. Bob Adams never pressured anyone to purchase the basics, nor attempted to sell anyone 16 sets of anything, the church said. Garcia said the contact list on his phone still shows the date of their meeting. Reporting with Joe Childs and Tom Tobin, this is Maurice Rivenbark for the St. Petersburg Times.